Hey fellas, I'm Carter. Do you ever go down a YouTube rabbit hole and then you're kind of confused how you got to your destination? Well, I'm a little confused. <laughs> so I was just scrolling around, exploring what YouTube had to offer, uh, when I came across some infomercials. Now, infomercials are something that I find funny. I mean, they're just, they're inherently funny. Whenever you open anything up with, are you tired? It's like, it's gonna be funny. I don't know. What it is. The thought of trying to sell a useless product for a first world problem is just kind of funny. While I was going down this infomercial rabbit hole, I found some cooking infomercials. I, w I was not prepared for how strange these recipes would be. And uh, I wanted to share them with you guys because, listen, I have been cursed with the knowledge that these infomercials have provided me. And I just kind of want to let the burden off a little bit and share that with you guys. So you may know Billy Mays, a dude kind of famous for infomercials, whatever product it may be, OxyCleaner, you know, OxyClean. He's kind of famous for doing a bunch of different infomercials and that's why people know him. So I came across Kathy Mitchell. Now, Kathy Mitchell did a ton of infomercials, but they're all like cooking related. We're gonna start off with this wonderful book from Kathy Mitchell. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with Eat This Book, my new collection of recipes that you prepare and cook on a page from the book. It's dinner made easy. Okay, yeah, so this is a book where you literally use the paper from the book. It's like single time use. You rip that page out and that is your parchment paper and it's kind of like a little guide. This seems like the kind of thing that you would see on like a five minute crafts video, but it's an actual product. The parchment paper pages are a foolproof way to make the perfect meal every day. No more messy pans to clean. Finished? Just toss it in the trash. I got distracted one sec. We have a visitor. <laughs> it seems like the key selling point for this book is that you don't have like pans to clean because you literally just throw away the paper that it came on. I mean, I guess that's like a fair point, but here's the thing. You can only make that recipe one time and then it's gone. You used it. You don't have that paper anymore. So pretty soon after that, you're going to start using pans. Start with boneless chicken thighs, then fill the spaces with frozen peas and ham. It's like coloring with food. It's like coloring with food. That is a very weird way to put it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I see where there's a space for this product. I see where there is somebody who would buy this, but I just, I just don't understand why. <laughs> for cat measuring, fill the pictures and your recipes will turn out perfect every time. It really is mistake proof and fun for the whole family. Okay, so uh, it's mistake proof and fun for the family. Now, anytime you're involving kids in baking, it is not mistake proof. You know what, not even kids. I'm trying to like exclude myself from this problem here. I have three videos detailing why no, no baking is mistake proof. <laughs> like even just looking at this, it's like, I don't even know what that is. It's some type of like meat, maybe potatoes and veggies. I don't, I, I can't tell. The thought of it in that paper, it's gonna like seep, not, not seep through. I know it's parchment paper and so it's like thicker paper, but mistake proof? I don't know about that one. Call now to get Eat This Book with 50 pages of recipes for $14.99. But wait, order now and we'll send you another 50 pages free. That's enough for 100 dinners. There it is, there. Okay, there it is, there it is. So yeah, you only have those 50 recipes. But if you order now, only if you order now, you get more pages so you can bake it more times. That's how they get ya, that's how they get ya. And this offer keeps getting better. Call right now and you can get a second full book. Oh my God, you can get two books. If I had known that you could get over 200 dinners for only $14.99, guys, I, I want to be trashing on it this much. Like that's a great deal. So yeah, that's the eat this book. Kind of strange, but it gets stranger. <laughs> Okay, so the next infomercial is actually for a diet that Kathy Mitchell has sponsored, I guess. It's called The Dump Diet. I've dropped 25 pounds and now you can too. It's so easy, just dump, bake, and lose weight. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about this dump diet. Listen, I'm not like a health expert. I'm not even like a health novice. But what does this have to do with health? Like what about the way that you're preparing it makes it healthier. Now, I guess you could say, oh, well, the recipes themselves are healthy. You know what? Just let me show you this. Every diet needs dessert. Try my chocolate raspberry trifle with angel food cake, chocolate pudding, fresh raspberries, and whipped topping. What about that is healthy? What about that is healthy? <laughs> I, I'll say it again. I am not a health expert. What about that is healthy? I don't even know what to say about this. It's like, it's the dump diet, Carter. It's healthy. 
Don't you know? <laughs> now I can eat the foods that I love and still lose weight. Kathy's guilt-free pina colada cake is so easy to make, and it's my favorite. <laughs> what is this before and after picture? That is about the creepiest before picture I've ever seen. So, okay, this, this after picture is normal enough, but the before picture looks like Michael Jackson <laughs> in 2005. Like, hey, if if you don't if you don't do the don't diet, you're gonna be looking like that. <laughs> okay, so the testimonial says that it's guilt-free. Like this guilt-free cake. What is different about it? It's still a cake, but the book said it's healthy, so I I can't feel bad about it. The book said it's healthy, don't you understand? So the dump diet might be a little strange, but you know, it still gets worse. It still gets worse. May I introduce you to Ramen Joy? your eyes on these homemade dishes and chocolatey desserts all made with ramen noodles really ramen noodles yes ramen you're telling me that this is made with ramen noodles you're telling me that these little like cake ball chocolate looking things those are made with ramen noodles this is where i drew the line i was watching these infomercials and i was like these are fine they're just a little weird but you can't make that out of ramen noodles this is like those videos where they would like cut a hole in a desk and then they'd like put a tv remote inside and then cover it with ramen and just scrape it and paint it first off why did the tv remote need to be in there second <laughs> this entire basket cost under ten dollars and wait till you see what you can make with it okay listen ramen is cheap but that's not true. This entire basket did not cost under $10. Okay, so what, what, ramen's like, what, 30 something cents a pack? So, um, I count enough packs that this is more than $10. Listen, my, different times, different ramen prices, but I think this is bullshit. Check these out. Ramen shrimp. Ramen shrimp? It's not shrimp. Ramen tacos, even ramen sliders. You can't, if you want ramen, eat ramen this is it, this is just insane like i i can't even imagine thinking like oh man i want a chicken sandwich oh we don't have any chicken what if i made a chicken sandwich out of ramen noodles it's just like chicken no it's not <laughs> watch this brown some beef or any other meat with a ramen seasoning pack dump in a package of ramen a good size square to ketchup okay what? And a can of cola. Okay. What? Yes, cola. For a fantastic barbecue beef pasta better than what they serve at the rib joint. Listen, I understand that Kathy, good old Kathy here is trying to reassure me that, yeah, cola, it's fine. It's, you might be surprised, but it's actually pretty good. I'm not going to eat that. Never have I looked at a can of Coke and a thing of ketchup. And I've thought, you know what? I should put those together. I should put those together right now. Form cooked ramen and egg into a fast pizza crust. Then add your favorite toppings for a mouth-watering pizza in minutes. That is gross. That is disgusting. Do you want to eat pizza that looks like that? Here, you know what? I'm gonna go on a little rant here. I'm gonna go on a little rant here. This is this isn't even about ramen. This is this is okay. I'm I'm just getting mad thinking about it. <laughs> and like cooking videos and like Instagram and TV. What is the like the one thing that is so important to these people? The cheese pull. You, they need to pull that grilled cheese apart and the cheese just come it's like ee, between or this pizza here literally you're pulling that up and it's just all that cheese still connected why would i want it to do that i cut the pizza i don't want it to say no 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 don't pull no don't pull me apart no don't pull me away no it hurts stop stop pulling me away why would i want it to do that i want my piece of pizza you know what the worst thing is when you pull a piece of pizza out and the cheese does this because you know what happens the cheese and all the toppings right off the pizza this video is a fucking mess. <laughs> what the best salad ever? Start with lettuce, onions, and mandarin oranges. Top with crushed ramen and pecans, and use your seasoning pack to make an awesome dressing. A restaurant bestseller you can easily make at home. Wait, 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 no, wait. You can't just put crunched ramen in a salad. That's too hard. That is too hard. Oh, love that crunch. What do you mean you love that crunch? You have no teeth anymore. All your teeth are gone. How about these decadent truffles or grandma's ramen apple pie? What do you mean grandma's ramen apple pie? Don't say that about grandma. She's not putting ramen in apple pie. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys think about what I just showed you because I don't want to. I don't want to. This is horrible. Yeah, so if, uh, if you want to see me complain about more stuff, I don't know, subscribe. Yeah, and also watch this video. Um, I talk about Wally. -E. We are becoming the people from Wally. -E. 
That's the truth right there. That is the truth. We are becoming the people from Wally. -E. Get ready to say goodbye to your bones and go to space. Because that's what's happening. Watch this video. Why are you still here? 